I wake up this morning and I and I scroll through my phone. I'm I'm doing the the light shining my face. First, see the tweet that Microsoft buys Activision Blizzard, and I think it's a joke. I, I thought it was like an like the Onion article. My initial thoughts is, I'm so hopeful for this. Is Bill Gates gonna come in and save WoW? <laughs> you know what else is interesting about this? Doesn't Microsoft owns Elder Scrolls online. They own ESO. That's interesting. They're gonna own two MMOs now. Anyway. I think it's good move. I think it is too, Bobby. Wait. Microsoft Gaming purchased Activision Blizzard this morning on what is considered the biggest gaming acquisition in history, valued at $69 billion. Uh, with Microsoft now owning all Activision Blizzard studios and their franchises, including WoW, Diablo, Overwatch, Candy Crush, Poggers, and Call of Duty. Double Poggers. Once the transition is finalized, all Activision Blizzard subsidiaries will report to Spencer as the executive vice president of gaming at Microsoft. <laughs> Dude, Phil Spencer, Giga Chad. <laughs> In their own press release, Activision Blizzard also announced the acquisition which will make Microsoft the world's third largest gaming company by revenue behind Tencent and Sony. Wait, what? No, Microsoft's in America. It's number one. Okay, this, this article is BS. My, uh, look, Microsoft's in America. That means it's number one. Okay, let's be honest. All right? This article is with some, with some fake news in this. Bobby Kotick, this guy, I'm telling you. He signed this deal this morning, and he's he's out buying a yacht right now. A, a third yacht, probably. I hope this means so many good things for Blizzard. I, I just, I hope so bad, man. Take the money and get the hell out, dude. <laughs> get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> That's how I feel, dude. Seemingly in response to the many recent allegations against Activision Blizzard. This means we must continuously improve the lived experience of our employees and create an environment that allows us to constantly drive everyday improvement in, in our culture. Why does this sound like a football coach? This means we must continuously improve the lived experience of our players and create an environment that allows us to constantly drive every single damn day to improve our culture. This is hard work and it requires consistency, commitment, leadership. It's just, this just sounds like a coach. This sounds like a football coach. <laughs> So I think then one of the biggest things that people have been talking about already is people have been talking about Xbox Game Pass and people have been talking about, uh, what, what, what does this mean? Xbox exclusive, PC exclusive, whatever. Microsoft has been doing a bunch of weird stuff to try and like get back on top. This acquisition really is part of that, right? This acquisition, I mean, that's, that's the whole reason for this is they want to get back to where they want to be. So... Um, a lot of people are saying, does this mean there's going to be any sort of integration with the Battle.net app and Game Pass? And, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe Game Pass ends up being, or sorry, maybe WoW ends up being something that you get some sort of benefit or discount or something with Game Pass. A lot of people really like Game Pass. Uh, I haven't used it too much, but I feel like every time I talk about, hey, I should buy this game or I should try this game out. I, somebody in chat almost every single time is like, dude, it's just on Game Pass. Okay, let's see what some notable members of the community said. Honestly, what did Lore say? Did Lore tweet about this? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Uh, anyway, I have a meeting in two hours where I have to pretend I know anything about anything. Fingers crossed, maybe I will by then. Good night, internet. <laughs> Wait, was he up all night? Do you expect to close June of 23th? That's a long time to wonder what's next and how long until they call studios and is this worth investigating as antitrust? <laughs> I should have been asleep by now, but now I need more booze. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part about my job is now is how I have no idea what it is on a weekly basis. <laughs> so those of you guys who don't know, Lore is like a, he's, he's the, uh, what is he? I don't even know anymore. Like community manager, content creator, relationship manager. Like he doesn't even know. I don't know. He doesn't know, but he, he, he's, he's been a blizzard forever. Activision stock jumping from $60 to $80 when they announced the acquisition law. Uh, I don't know if that happened. Uh, I actually did load this up, but holy, it literally did. We need to talk to like a stock guy, right? Maybe we should talk to the stock guy. I'm, I'm going to DM him. Give me the rundown S fan. Are we buying the stock or are we shorting it? Hey, look, this is definitely not financial advice. <laughs> you don't want to hear anything from me, but I am going to talk to the stock guy soon, uh, which also is not financial advice. 
Linus tweeted about it. <laughs> True, dude. <laughs> What's up, dude? Not much, dude. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, we were supposed to do a co hot tub stream together, and you were down for it when I was like a 10k Andy, but now you're just like, what's going on, man? Well, uh, look, I, uh, I mean, yeah. eventually, eventually, we'll do a hot tub stream eventually. All right, let's do it. I, basically, I woke up and I saw the news, and then I started looking at, at stock stuff because I was immediately like, I wonder how this affects stuff. Can you explain why? Activision skyrocketed, but it like didn't really do anything at all to, to Microsoft. Like, how does that work? All right. So the reason that 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 Activision skyrocketed is because the deal is a takeover of a little over sixty nine billion dollars, close to seventy billion, uh -huh. and that represents ninety five dollars per share premium. So that means Microsoft is buying it overall at a $95 per share premium. So Activision being at 70 bucks, obviously it's gonna get closer to 95 because that's what they're gonna buy the shares at. So that moved up. Microsoft on the other hand, is the one that's taking on all of this debt, spending $70 billion. Also, it's not guaranteed. So a lot of people are like, well, then how come Activision's not sitting at $95 right now? Why isn't it sitting? If they're going to buy it for $95, why isn't the shares $95? Well, there's a couple things. Number one, the deal isn't in place until 2023. So that's a long time to go. Uh -huh. And number two, um, it's not guaranteed yet. It has to go through an antitrust, uh, you know, uh, uh, thing where they have a hearing and they say, is this a monopoly? Remember, I don't know if you're yeah, old enough to remember were, Microsoft. Talking about that. What ends up happening is, is that in the nineties, cause I'm a boomer, uh, monop uh, uh, Microsoft was called a monopoly. They said they were too big, uh, and they were going to break it up. So the government stepped in and broke it up in, into a bunch of smaller companies. And now we're seeing the same yeah. thing happen with like Amazon and Facebook. Um, but uh, the problem is, is that will the, uh, the competitors, EA, Take-Two, and, and everybody else come and say, hey, listen, if Microsoft, who has Minecraft, has Game Pass, has Xbox, bought Bethesda last year, and now has Activision Blizzard, are they going to have too much of the market to become a monopoly? And if that's the case and they can prove that, then the, the FTC may say, you know what, we're not going to let this deal go through. And so it's not a really? done deal yet. So it's a year out and it's not a done deal. So that's why it's not at that 95. I'm very, like, I'm a pussy. I'm just going to be honest. Like, I keep like, I'm like, man, I really should like invest and buy stocks or this and that. So I saw this thing and I immediately was like, oh, I bet Microsoft is going to go up. And then I looked at it and I was like, I, I was so confused. The reason that you'll see companies uh, dip after a big uh, announcement like this is just like with AMD and XL and X, when you're talking about a company taking on $70 billion in, in, in liabilities, because it's an investment, right? Uh -huh. They have to buy up the debt. They have to buy up the payroll. More importantly, they're going to have to pay probably $300 million to get rid of their CEO at Activision because he has a golden parachute. And then on top of that, you know, there's no guarantee that they're gonna they're gonna do well with it. So there's a lot of uncertainty. I mean, you make a really good point about the monopoly thing because I, I, I was looking at there's so many things that are a part of like the Activision Blizzard King umbrella that people don't even think about all the time. Like they own Andy MLG. Crush brings in one billion dollars a year. Yeah. It's huge. That game <laughs> saved my ass the first six months of having a baby because I'd be holding her in one arm. And just she'd fall asleep and I can't move and I need to do something. So I just consider playing Candy Crush. I'm not even going to lie. I, I, I'll, I'll admit it. It's always good talking to you, dude. Um, I, always I, good talking to you. This is like the second time we've ever talked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, even in chat and stuff too. So, um, Hey, listen, man, yeah. you're good people. I always told everybody, and, I, and, I, and I've said this before, uh, other than the fact that you are a better looking Ron Jeremy, um, <laughs> what I always say is if there was one person on Twitch that I, I think I would have a good time hanging out with, It'd be you, and I mean that. So there keep on being awesome that, and genuine, dude. A lot of people like you. Don't ever think that whatever you're doing isn't good enough, dude. You're just a good person to watch, and it feels it feels feels cozy in your stream, dude. So keep on, all right? Yeah, I, I really, really appreciate that, man. All right. I tell really your mom I said hi. I'll talk to you later. I will. I will. She told me to hi. tell you she said hi, actually. So. Uh, I go, get out of here. Bye. <laughs>